So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start building um, some simple shapes. And I'm going to start out by making sort of like a badge, if you will. So let's choose a color here. So I'm going to create a circle. Now when I drag this, it'll be random unless I want to hold shift, which will come straight to a perfect circle. And alt, by the way, will make it grow from the center. So I'm going to do one of those here. In fact, I'm going to make this thing, you know what, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger just because it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to start with a nice large one here. I'm going to go to my stroke. I'm going to increase this thickness. Now I'm going to add some shapes to this to make it more interesting. So for instance, I can go and I will now choose a polygon. Okay. Now if I hold down my Alt button and then click with the polygon tool, it will give me an option for how many sides I want it to have. I want a triangle, so I'm going to make three and hit OK, and you can see that I now have a triangle. So to make this interesting, I'm going to change the fill color of this to yellow, and I'm going to go V for my move tool, and I'm going to resize this. I'm going to move this around in here. And I'm going to resize this thing until I get to a spot that I'm happy with that fits inside my circle. Like so. Okay. Now by the way, this isn't necessarily lined up in the center, so I'm going to this is the the triangle is already selected. I'm going to hold my shift button down. I'm going to select the red and now up here in my uh, line tools, okay? And I'm on layout by the way just to make sure that I have those. Here, there we go. Get that out of the way. Um, I can go to horizontal align center and since both these shapes are selected it will line them up um, from left to right. Um, I don't want to do top to bottom because it will actually move the triangle down. I don't want to do that. So now I'm going to add another shape to this. Go back to my polygon tool. I'm going to go to a star. Once again if I hold my alt button down and click it will say how many points of the star do you want and just for something different I'll hit 8. I'll hit 9. Let's see what happens. Oops, not 89. That's a little bit more than I want. I'm going to hit 9, hit OK. There's my new star. Um, I'm going to make my stroke a little bit narrower, just so I have a little more star. And for the fill, I'm going to choose a blue. Uh, yeah, I'll choose a blue. Okay. So once again, V tool, just my move. Bring it over here. Hold my shift button down. Uh, to keep my proportions the same. I'm going to make this thing a little bit larger. And once again, if I want to, select all these things up in my align, and I will go to horizontal align center, lines them all up perfectly. Okay, so let's just say this is my little badge that I'm going to make. So I have them all selected already, so I'm going to go to object group, which is control G or command G on a Mac. And now I'm going to shrink this thing down a little bit because this is going to become a piece of something. Oops. Notice how my um, pass all stayed the same. I don't really want to have that happen like that. So I can go to Object, Transform, Scale. And if I want to, I can scale the strokes and effects here. So they'll all go down with it. There we go. I like that better. OK. so this up here. Now I'm going to put these in a, a ring around a circle. So I'm going to come over here, take my ellipse tool. Once again, I'm going to hold down my shift button and my alt button. Shift makes it perfectly round. Alt grows from, from the center, like so. And I'm going to put these in the middle just while I'm doing this here. So once again, horizontal line center. And now I'm going to move this onto the edge wherever I'd like it to be. I think that sounds good, except that I want it to be in front, so I will go over to my layers and move it up in front. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this up so it rotates around my shape. So I'm going to hit R for my rotate tool, and I want this to rotate around a center point, so I need to find the center point. There it is. And I'm going to hold Alt, and I'm going to click. Now, I can set this to any percentage, but I want to have a percentage divisible by 360, so 360 degrees. So I'm going to hit 60. I'm going to hit Preview. Now it moved it. Don't worry about that. I'm going to hit Copy. So just copied it, rotate it 60 degrees, 
and I can hit Command D, and it will keep repeating that last command that I did the shape. Bang, 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 and there's all my stuff around it. So I will continue this in one second.